Dr. Felix Cizwe Dube, uh, one of the, I was going to say lucky scientists, doctor, but this has nothing to do with luck. This is all hard work. Good morning. You're joining us via Skype from Cape Town. How do you feel? Good morning, um, and good morning to your viewers. Thank you so much. Um, this is quite exciting. Um, I think it's a huge uh, responsibility and opportunity that has been afforded to us. Tell me about your research, Doctor. I'm going to mention the names of the uh, other three <coughs> doctors who have uh, also been awarded this incredible fellowship. But just tell me a bit about yourself, because you've got quite a title. Uh, you work for the Department of Molecular and Cellular Biology. I can't imagine fitting that onto a business card. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, so our research is basically focused on um, improving the way children breathe. And to do this, we are conducting a randomized controlled trial uh, with a special drug called uh, azithromycin that will, has, um, is essentially a double-edged sword in the sense that it has both anti-inflammatory uh, properties as well as uh, antimicrobial properties that is able to fight infections that affect the airways of children. And in doing this, we aim to improve the way that children breathe and also long-term child lung health. I imagine incredibly important, uh, especially on the African continent, which we're going to talk about the influence of your work uh, in Africa in a moment, Dr. Uh, Dube. I do, however, just want to mention the other three doctors. I think it's vital that I do, and congratulations to all of them. Dr. Lauren Aronser uh, from Drug Discovery and Development Center. Also, we have a uh, Dr. Ronda Tiana Baramalala, and also Dr. Ross Blamey or Blamey. Dr. Ross, I hope I have not got your surname incorrect. Uh, you are from the Department of Oceanography. But Dr. Dube, you are in... Uh, uh, incredibly uh, talented uh, company at the moment. Tell me a little bit about Flair and, and your involvement with them. The research you're doing, incredibly important. How does Flair get involved in this? Um, so Flair has identified uh, a gap in African research that is for most um, talented researchers that would like to advance their research enterprise. Uh, we have a huge uh, deficit when it comes to research funding as well as um, opportunities for people to be able to excel in their research. So uh, the Royal Society together with the Africa Academy of Science have identified this gap and hence um, through this fellowship they are funding re African research to be able to conduct research in Africa for Africans to be able to improve uh, the socio-economic as well as health of Africans. Uh, doctor, I, I can't imagine you can do all this kind of research and work and potentially implementation of your research by yourself. Are you going to get a team to help you? Is that how this process works? Is there enough money to get a team? Um, I think there's... Um, uh, we ha I have been fortunate enough to work with an amazing team within my, um, my department. I lead a very... Um, energetic team of young Africans as well who are pursuing their master's and PhD degrees. Um, but more importantly, I think I have been able to collaborate with many other researchers. Uh, so we've, uh, we've put together a team, a multidisciplinary team of clinicians, immunologists, um, um, uh, as well as microbiologists from ourselves. So this has spanned from not just looking at African researchers, but also includes uh, partners from the Norway, from the United Kingdom, Zimbabwe and Malawi. So uh, we hope that because of the different disciplines of uh, team members that are involved, we will be able to cross-pollinate our findings into one big uh, f um, a collaboration that would help in terms of improving mm. child lung health. It's wonderful research, Doctor. Just before I say goodbye to you, I think so many people are going to want to know when this all starts. Just briefly, if I, if I may ask, uh, when do you uh, now start with this research and this work as part of FLAIR? The research I know is ongoing. When does your work with FLAIR actually begin? The work has actually started on the 1st of May. So there are a number of other regulatory issues that we are still putting into place and making sure that this, this are, the ground is fertile for us to be able to hit the ground running as mm. soon as the lockdown is lifted.
Yeah, we're all waiting for that. Dr. Sizwe Dube, Felix Sizwe Dube, I, a huge thank you to you and congratulations to you, a young UCT researcher selected for a prestigious fellowship to contribute to science in Africa through this organization uh, that is known as FLAIR, Future Leaders African Independent Research.